Hey guys I hope you're doing well I am a gamer and I'm a member of the GG club. Today I would like to share with you the interest I still have for Sandbox, this French tech company in gaming and metaverse. I would like to show you why now is the time to take a proper look. So let's go. What is the metaverse? I think it is important to quickly come back to the metaverse definition. The metaverse is a virtual environment in which gamers' feelings will be enhanced. The metaverse gives players freedom of creation and movement, things that were not yet possible from a tech point of view a few years ago. And if there has been so much passion around this, it is primarily for economic reasons. You should know that today there are more than 3 billion players who spend on average $50 per year it's more than $150 billion a year it's huge. It's more than the film and music industry's revenues combined. Now that we're fine on the metaverse let's talk about Sandbox. What is Sandbox? Sandbox is the pioneer company in Web3 gaming and metaverse. Sandbox is in the game from 2012. It is very serious and for proof in November 2021, the valuation of Sandbox was around $8 billion, in other words, huge. Sandbox already impress in 2012 with the first version of their mobile game before blockchain tech. It was a huge success, 40 million downloads and even elected game of the year by Apple. Just that. Today Sandbox is all about the version of the game in the metaverse. Sandbox has already released an alpha version on PC. But it is also in process to be available on mobile and PlayStation. It is at this moment that the real test will come. Sandbox has already almost 2 million PC gamers. So when we know that most players are on mobile and PlayStation. Imagine the potential. If one day Sandbox reaches 50 to 100 million players. Why Sandbox and not another one? Key point, Sandbox has the teams and the infrastructure to deliver this type of highly technical project. And it is far from easy. Look at the fiasco of Facebook who lost 10 billion US dollars in their metaverse project, for just nothing. Another key point is for Sandbox to have targeted gaming in the metaverse with simple tools to allow gamers not only to play but also to create their own games and publish them slash bring them to life within the Sandbox ecosystem. With these tools, no need to have skills in programming or IT, it's just intuitive. I can very easily create a video game with slash universe slash monsters slash characters etc. With Sandbox we are no longer just a simple player but we are part of the ecosystem. That's very very strong but the next question is where I publish my video game? Well in the Metaverse Sandbox which is a well-defined virtual world, there is a map of the world which is made up of about 166,000 lands. And you need to own a land to install your video game there. Land can be compared to digital real estate in the metaverse where land can be sold and bought on the number one exchange platform, which is OpenSea. Why invest in Sandbox? Of course having an open world, a different way of playing is good but the real opportunity is the economic model behind it. Having potentially 100 million players and therefore consumers gathered in the same virtual world represents an exceptional marketing target. And that the large companies know it and have already invested heavily in Sandbox. Why? Because you can certainly create a video game on Sandbox but why not creating a live show experience, a new supermarket 3.0 or even VIP access to complete admin stuff. Sandbox has already signed partnerships with giants like Adidas, Gucci HSBC, Binance, Carrefour or even Atari and Ubisoft but that's not all. Sandbox also signed strategic partnerships with Dubai last year and this year with Saudi Arabia. Building on its success, the Sandbox metaverse is already 69% occupied, however there are still great opportunities on the lands. At the peak of the crypto market in 2021, there were trades of just incredible lands like a land next to those of the American rapper Snoop Dogg who was bought for $500,000. Sandbox has issued its own crypto called Sand. The Sand is available on all trading platforms and is on the Ethereum blockchain but also Polygon. 
In November 2021 the sand was worth $7, today the sand is worth less than 70 cents. That's a 90% drop. But why is that? We are on the verge of a major economic recession against a backdrop of inflation and this is largely due to the post-COVID effect. Therefore the financial markets react very badly to all this. The crypto universe globally is the most severely affected and not necessarily for good reasons. Cryptos are one of the most volatile investments and therefore the most risky, so on the downside the fall is just as strong, which leads to a panic movement, cryptos are still a new type of investment and therefore are the first to be sold to get back cash during market crises. But this type of drop has already happened in the past so nothing shocking. Bitcoin has in the past already lost more than 90% of its value before performing big time. On the other hand, this strong correction can be seen as a good thing. This will kill all bogus and poorly structured projects. How to invest in Sandbox You have two simple ways to invest in this project. First possibility, buy the token SAND which is available on all major trading platforms. Important to mention, there is the possibility to reward SAND holders up to 40%, this is called staking, which is quite a good return. Do not hesitate to contact the GG Club for more details on this staking program. Second possibility, buy Sandbox Lands which allows you to own assets of the company. The GG Club manages between 20 and 50 lands for their members at the moment so do not hesitate to contact them for more information. Buying lands is much more complex than the token but can be much more rewarding. Buying land via a group of people is also a possibility and this can give more impact on a larger territory. The GG Club also offers this kind of service to its members. So here it is for this quick review on Sandbox. I hope this was interesting. Don't hesitate to like and comment the video. Important to remember that I am not an investment advisor. These are just my thoughts and opinions on a specific topic. You are responsible for your own choices and investment and you take your own risks. See you soon guys.